Now we should calculate the stress problem. We would like to calculate the displacement. Quick field, I make the new problem stress. The problem type is stress analysis and the length units are microns and the model thickness is one micron. Again, I would like to automatically pass the results from thermal to mechanical analysis, so I should use the same geometry model. So this problem will be compatible with each other. Now here you can see there are three problems. Electrical problem to calculate the current distribution, thermal problem to calculate the temperature distribution, and the mechanical problem to calculate the displacement. And in the mechanical problem, it is based on the same geometry model, I should specify mechanical properties of each object. Now let's take a look. Cooling boundary condition. It has no meaning in the mechanical problem, so I do not specify any value here. Ground. I believe the ground and voltage contacting plates are fixed, so I can specify zero displacement for each conducting plate. Now for copper, I should specify mechanical properties of copper, which is 140 gigapascals. And the portion Asia is 0 0.4. And to calculate the thermal stress, I should specify the expansion coefficient, which is 2.9 times 10 to the power of minus 6. And the temperature difference will be imported from the thermal problem. So let's run the stress analysis. You see there is no deformation because I have not specified the link. I should put the link from mechanical to thermal problem. So I open the stress problem properties, follow to the links. The data type I use is the temperature field and the problem is thermal. Now let's again run the analysis. And here you can see the deformation. I will adjust the field picture and switch on the color map in microns. So these, the right side will be deformated, will move about 10 microns. Ten microns up, and the length of this hot arm is about 500 microns. Now this way from electrical to thermal to stress analysis problem we were able to calculate the current distribution, temperature distribution and the mechanical deformation.